Once you've connected your DMS repo to your process automation, you'll be able to use the file widget in a form to let a user upload a file. That file will be uploaded to the DMS repo, and from then on, it will be available in your process instance. Here's a simple process with a trigger form and an approval form. Let's add a file widget to the trigger form. We'll also add a file widget to the approval form so the uploaded file is available to the approver. We will also add a text field so we see what text is being sent behind the scenes to represent the file. In the process, we'll bind the trigger file output to both the file input and the text input of the approval forms. Let's release and then deploy. Once deployed, we'll get the URL for the trigger form. We'll enter a name and country, and now we will upload a file, an image from a recent SAP build code jam. We submit the form. We can check our inbox to see the approval form. We see a link to the file, which we can download and view. And we also see a text representation of the file. That is the DMS object ID for that document, plus a generic prefix. This value will help when trying to pass the file to an automation. Process automation will send the object ID to the automation, and then the automation will fetch the file using that ID. Just to show everything worked, we'll open our DMS repo, see a new folder, and open the file inside. It is our CodeJam photo. And the object ID of the folder, as seen in its URL, is what we see in the approval form. If we use our CMS viewer app, we can also easily see that the object ID of the folder is the same GUID. Every file or set of files, the file widget can accept multiple files, is put in its own folder at the root of the repo.